So Shane, if you want to kick us off, uh, feel free. So, um, oh, what's the uh, what's the wash up after that one? It was a, a pretty energy sapping sort of game, I guess, with the heat. Um, how did you sort of address the result with the players afterwards? Well, disappointed because we've obviously lost the game. So uh, the conditions were the same for both teams. It took a lot of energy out of the boys. I think you see that in uh, when the referee stopped the game a couple of times in each half, which I think was important because it's it's their safety, which is the most important thing. And, you know, trying to get a rhythm and a momentum in the game sometimes is not helped by having the breaks, but you need to do that. It just allows coaches to change what they're maybe not getting quite right at that time. So. Um, no excuse, same for both teams, obviously disappointed, the first goal was always going to be important, I said this last week again, uh, we didn't get it, so all credit to them. Did you think you were about to equalise when Petratos uh, sort of waltzed through the box there for a bit, he nearly scored? Well he should have scored, he should have scored and, and you know you do all the work and you make all the, the hard bits, the phases, the fundamentals of the game for opportunities like that. And it's, it's probably an easier chance than what they had. But, you know, you don't score. Uh, keep, keeper makes a really, really good save. But he hit the target. You know, that was one chance we had. I think we turned down too many opportunities, especially in the first half to shoot, looking for the perfect goal. And if you're waiting for the perfect goal, they don't come along. You know, it's ricochets, it's rebounds, it's, it's touches. You know, my defender touched the ball on the cross leading up to the first goal. If he doesn't touch it, we get the ball. Um, having said that, we shouldn't stop when the ball, whether it's out of play or not. If it's out, then we still shouldn't stop. And yeah, you know, so there's so many little things at the moment that are not going our way. We haven't got right, um, and we have to own it. Um, but as you said, it's uh, it's a combination of things. Oh, hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can, Dom. Now, yeah. Hey, Carl. So, unless I'm mistaken, the, the Dimi Pachados opportunity was probably the only, the only clear-cut one created, certainly within inside the box. A few others yeah. were from distance. Why do you think the forward line, with the experience uh, that they have, the quality that they possess, are not creating opportunities? Do you know what, Dom? It's a really, really good question. And it's something that we've just spoken about in there. Um, the answer is, I'm not sure. You know, and I'll, I'll look back at the game and to get from A to B, you know, we were very, very good today. You know, we managed to play through them, cut through them, overload in midfield, get into wide areas. And then it was the final action. And I know, you know, teams, coaches talk about the final actions, but you're right. Uh, it was a clear cut chance that we had and it was probably only one of maybe two. Um, but I think we're looking for the perfect goal. I think we're looking for the perfect cross. And we need to be better than that. We, as soon as the wing-back, full-back gets into an area, he needs to deliver the ball. But what we can't have is one player uh, or two, just two players in the box. So I think it's a number of things uh, would be my assessment at the moment. Um, but, you know, we don't get enough clear-cut chances. We have a lot of shots from outside the box. I think Terry Antonis had two or three chances from outside the box. If someone's... If, if we score from outside the box, then people say he's a very good long-range shooter. Uh, but they go in maybe one, at, one time out of ten. So we need to improve certain aspects of that. We need to actually improve more ratios in the box, around the box, in the second six-yard box, even in the wide areas. So it's not just one thing. I think it's a number of things. But we need to be better. Carl, the, the, there seems to be a little bit of a pattern of a lot of the chances that, that are... Uh, occurring aren't often ones that are uh, they look like they've come off the training ground so to speak what are you going to do to change this particularly with going going forward in the attack well again listen Dom you've been at my training ground so you know um, not every day but you know the way I work so you know it's easy to say that those chances don't come but you know the the little around the box play which we work on a lot um, they're not coming off at the moment um, whether it's due to Central Coast today blocking these pockets, MacArthur last week putting eight men behind the ball and blocking them pockets, yes. But teams are going to do that, so we need to we need to revisit it. I need to revisit it. I need to look at different ways of doing it. Whether it's you know we we overload one side for a two v one, whether we play higher our uh, fullbacks play higher up, and we did that in the last thirty minutes. So why do I think it's not coming off at the moment? You know we we train very hard, and if you watched us in in our training practices with our finishing then I know every coach will say they're as good as anyone 
and mine are. So, like you said, it's just a get back to work scenario. We need to be better. We know that without a doubt, you know. But, you know, I can't fault them with regards to effort and work and things like that. But we need to, we do need a little bit more quality in the final third, and that'll be my challenge for them. Hey, Carl. Um, I was just wondering if you had uh, any, I guess, um, in terms of like what you think. I, it can't be pinpointed. Sorry, it can't be pinpointed to like one particular statement, obviously. But what you reckon the the tactical identity or the philosophy of your team is that you're trying to create? Hi, Jack. Uh, you got something on you? Sorry. Are you sure? That's right. Me. Uh, what do sorry. I think? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Uh, can you hear me, Jack? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What do I what do I think? I want to play with the ball. I've told you that from day one, and we will play with the ball, and we do play with the ball. But our tactical identity, or philosophy, or methodology, which are the words get thrown out here all the time, I think they're dependent on whether you win or not as well. Because if you win, people don't ask you these questions. If you if you don't win, then people do. You know, if you win three two, everyone says that you're entertaining, you can score goals, but your back back end of the team isn't very good. You know, and you've got, you've got to decide what type of team you want to be, whether it's a counter-attacking team, a low-block team, a mid-block team, um, a possession-orientated team. You know, we want, to, we want to have the ball. I want to have the ball. I challenge my team every day to have the ball. What we need, do need to do is we can't have 60 70% of the ball most weeks and then have no actions, as Dom said there. We need to be better than that. So, because, I said, I might as well have 30% of the ball and play direct with two big forwards up top. Um, but if you don't get results with that, people will say that you don't have enough possession. So what you have to do is put it together and piece it together. Uh, and that's what we've got to work through next week, especially. But moving forward, you know, I, there won't be too many changes. I want the ball. You know, I think I win this season against Wellington. I think it was 50-50. So it, sometimes possession doesn't matter whether you win or not, does it? It's the end result. So it's, uh, it's something we need to work on, especially the final third area. Good question. And just in one of those Thanks. And just in one of those like training ground attacking movements, I guess um, one thing that was present was Hamed was dropping deep, kind of like as a ten with the two wingers becoming yeah. like a front two. So if you, just, I guess, like Hamed's progressive passing is really good. So is that the main reason behind? Yeah, that listen, it's, it's, a, it's a good uh, observation there. You know, not intentionally. Tom, Tom likes to feel and get involved in the play. And if you said you have six, seven hundred passes a game, and as a centre forward you're having twenty touches you're probably going to get frustrated. Well, what you need to do then is your wider players need to evolve inside and roll inside and be that second second forward or third forward. Uh, we, our starting positions were fine. When Tom had dropped, I didn't think we had enough movement from the outside players in. Um, Kajira got in once or twice uh, and obviously didn't shoot when he should have or we just huffed and puffed. Um, but like you said, when some play, if I move here, then you move there. It's simple. It's pass and move. Yes, it's attacking patterns. It's defensive patterns. It's all of these things that you need to do on the training ground. But the boys work hard on the training ground. Thanks, Carl. Thanks, Jack. Any further questions? All good? Beautiful. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Carl. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, guys.